What's happening, fellas? We are at the Indian Motorcycle of Daytona Beach, also Victory and Slingshot. This used to be the former Robeson Harley Davidson dealership. And, uh, well, unfortunately, today's event here is a mere shadow of what it used to be because on, there used to be one of the biggest swap meets this side of Robeson Harley Davidson. Used to be about a half mile long stretch here where bikes would be parked and all kinds of vendors would be out there. I'm not sure why the town, if the town shut it down or if it was sold. I see there's some construction going on, but it's got to be killing their, their sales and because uh, it's a mere uh, fraction of what it used to be. There used to be literally thousands of bikes here. But any event, let's go inside and take a look what Indians got to offer. Guys, this is the Brown and Brown Insurance Company. Don't buy any insurance from them pricks because it's their fault. There's no bike week event going on here. They bought the land across the street and uh, they um, turned it into a park just to screw up the Indian dealership's chances here. I just heard from one of the employees here. We're doing here. great. We're doing great. They're, they're doing fine, but I'm sure I'm sure it can't it can't be helping not having an extra three thousand guys here every day. But um, as I said, this used to be this used to be. The Robeson Harley Davidson dealership now it's Indian. They swooped in and grabbed it when, when the Harley moved out. And they've got events going on. They've got demo rides every day, Polaris slingshot demo rides, owners ride and large world's largest V8 parade, and they got a rat's hole bike show. So there's a lot going on here. Out back, Boss Haas is here with the um, Boss Haas V8 motorcycles and trikes. So um, really this this was this was again a Harley dealer, now it's an Indian. And they've got a nice lineup of bikes here. They got the Indian Scout over here. Um, actually, that's the Scout. This is the FTR uh, flat tracker replica. More Scouts. Nice lineup of Scouts. This is basically Indian's competition for the Harley Davidson Sportster, uh, basically, in my opinion. Um, and then they've got a lineup of the full dressers out here, which are competition for the Harley Davidson. They've been a competition from Harley Davidson since 1901. Did go out of business a couple times after the war. Been recently, but Polaris bought up the name and has been producing these bikes. Again, they closed the Victory model lineup down, and now uh, they just sell the Indian brand, which I kind of think was a mistake. I wish they kept the Victory line more as like an Arlen Ness custom event, you know, like an Arlen Ness uh, custom model lineup. But they actually uh, did away with it. Um, who knows? It's easy to be a Monday Monday morning quarterback, but it's. Uh, Sometimes harder, harder said than done. Indian Roadmaster. So yeah, these Indians are really. Uh, I think most of their money is 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 made on the on the Roadmasters. I, I had one of these to ride for a summer, one of the 111s, and uh, it was it was awesome. Uh, in fact, probably rode better than my Harley at speed. They were rock steady, awesome bikes. Um, I don't know how they're, I know Harley Davidson has been suffering with sales and stock numbers going down. I'm not sure how Polaris is doing, but um, they've got they've got some beautiful bikes for sure. There was a uh, display down at the Main Street area, and they had some of their special edition, like Jack Daniels special editions down there. Now the trucks are getting to be a big thing for Harley Davidson. I guess I didn't know Polaris was in the game now. Um, I don't know if this is a factory special or if this is an aftermarket. Now, you gotta ask these pockets to get one of these. These are $60,000. 60 large, folks. That's what I said, 60,000. That's a, that's a big commitment. I don't think this is an Indian production bike. I think this is an aftermarket by Roadsmith, but I'm not sure. Anything catch your eye here, honey? Nice paint job on this one. This is a Indian Challenger Limited, forty thousand dollar bike, thirty nine nine. That's got all the bells and whistles. This is kind of like a CVO Harley Davidson, you know, their upper echelon bike. Here's a Chieftain Dark Force, forty G. Here's a nice looking one, red, red, white, and gray. If it was red, white, and blue, it had me at hello. Another Challenger Dark Horse, 40,000. There's another view of the uh, racing at the beach, showing them coming off the beach, making a left-hand turn, and heading up the street. 
This is the Jack Daniels edition right here. Um, I think if I was going to buy one of these, it'd be the Jack Daniels edition. It's a beautiful bike. Are these limited production models? How many are they making? 177. And this is number 100. Okay. It's right so, here displayed. So they, they make 177. This is number 100. So it's somewhat of a, it is a limited production piece. Yep, limited That's awesome. Uh, is that a factory model or is that an aftermarket? So we actually don't make trikes. Okay. Somebody took one of our motorcycles and created it into a trike. Oh, that's and then awesome. They traded it in. This is a 2020 Indian Roadmaster. That's pretty wild. That's why we have it on our showroom floor because yeah. we don't have trikes. Yeah. This is an Indian. Well, trike. you do have the um, the slingshot, which is kind of like a, 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 almost yeah. like a trike. It's like a reverse trike. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Well, thank you. Here's a Voyager. That's a dark horse. Here's a cheap vintage. This is basically the bike that I had a couple summers ago to ride around the 111, and it was nice. I, I liked it. Nice and smooth and plenty of power. Cruised down the highway 90 miles an hour all day long. This is, confirm my suspicions, this is an aftermarket trike. <coughs> now they're up to 116s. That's a 116. I kind of like this black and red one down here with, with the gold. Uh, it's a Thunderstroke 116. Excellent motors. I haven't heard anything bad about them. Only, only good. And they have uh, performance kits just like Harley. They've got their uh, Screaming Eagles. Uh, I mean, I don't know what they call it, but like the Harley Screaming Eagle Stage 1, 2, 3, 4, they offer pretty much the same thing. Um, you got to have deep pockets to play in the, swim in this pond. It's, uh, these are all 40 grand and up over here. Really nice shop. Again, this was Robeson, Harley Davidson. Now it's, uh, it's Indian. 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 Now here's the original Indian motorcycle at Daytona Beach storefront. How cool is that? Robeson was in a very small shop like that when they started too. Humble beginnings. They've got a couple acres of bikes out back too. A huge bike show out back. We'll go take a peek out, outside, see what they got. We got something for the kids too. Little, uh, these, are, these are probably, yeah, these are electric, little electric mini bikes. How cool is that? So we know Polaris isn't surviving off their Indian sales because they've got quite a few different pans in the fire. They've got the slingshots here, which have seemed to be insanely popular. They're selling a lot of these, um, all different configurations. They look like, uh, Orange and blue, you get one looks like Batman's slingshot. Kind of a cool three season rig or a convertible rig like this. Um, they also own the Polaris ATV division, so they've got e ATVs out the wazoo. And I think that's where they make most of their money is on the ATVs, but I'm sure the Indian lineup's doing well. They're selling, they're selling a lot of them, that's for sure. If you want to buy an Indian and you come here and you don't buy one, you don't really want to buy an Indian because they got everything here. They got every model, uh, no weight, just uh, sign on the dotted line and wheel you out of here on one of these FTRs. Whole lineup of them. I'm not sure what the. These are only 13.5, so these are in competition with the Harley Davidson Sportster. In this whole row here, these are all the, the, the expensive 111s. Any color you could dream of. They're all here. I'll put a cup. More slingshots. And they got a bunch of trikes over here. Let's take a peek at what they got over here. These are all Harley Davidson trikes, it looks like. Yeah, all Harleys. Maybe traded in on, on an Indian, I don't know. Even these ones are 30 G. If you're looking for a trike, you might want to give these guys a, a call. They've got a pretty good lineup, about 30 of them here. Indians. Out back here, there's a nice lineup too. Slingshots as far as I can see out here. And there's your boss, Hoss Chop. V8, baby. These are all V8 cycles over here, all of them. 
What a beautiful trailer. Polished stainless, double decker. What a beautiful rig. Now that's a beauty. Peterbilt with a small camper body on the back and a double decker custom trailer from BMW. BMW trailers, if you want to order one, call them up, they'll build you whatever you want. This thing's beautiful, all the stainless on it. Just fantastic. Rat's Hole Custom Bike Show. You got, you got it in a sport mode, switch it to sport mode. I did with the passenger. Uh, that is beautiful. The second ride, I built an XS 650 Yamaha. Those are awesome. Yeah. Pretty quiet, huh? That's the Production. Yeah. 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 Can you rev it up a little bit? I'd have to put louder pipes on it. <laughs> That's not loud enough. Awesome bike, though. Plain all in adjustable front end, all in rear shock. This is it's not the five thousand dollars with a suspension on it. I mean, you got more. I figure the front end is over five grand with the custom brakes and everything. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's actually a pretty good value. Yeah, Look how cute you are! Wow. <laughs> we just signed our life away to do a demo ride on this thing. Kind of looking forward to it. Well, that was fun. Gonna get back on Big Red, my trusty XR, and send it. Thanks for watching. God bless the United States of America.